Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Planet Express ship from the show Futurama. I would highly recommend pairing this with Planet Express. I have made a tutorial for that build. You will be able to find a link for that down below in the description and at the top of the comments if you haven't built it already. And at the end of the video, we will be placing the Planet Express ship in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the ship. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing a prismarine bricks on the ground. Extend left one, up one, left one, and then up one, forwards one, and then right by three. One, two, three. We then want to extend in one, this way by one, and then across by two. So one, two. We then want to extend in one, and then out one like this, and then we want to extend this way by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We then want to extend in one, out one like this, right by two, one, two, in, extend out again, and then connect all the way back to where we first started, like this. So, the next thing that we are going to do is focus a little bit more on where we started. So, we want to place a stone brick stair here, and here, and also possibly here. We then want to place prismarine bricks along the outside of the stairs leading up into the ship, and we want to place upside down stairs underneath the stairs that we placed. Smooth stone slabs behind the back of this, and then we want to place a stone button here and here as well. The next thing that we are going to do is place a layer of red concrete directly on top of the prismarine bricks. Just like so. We then want to place another row of red concrete in front of the front row of red concrete, and underneath this, we want to place a row of upside down prismarine brick stairs like this, so that they kind of curve around like so. Then we are going to extend the red concrete an additional row forward, place a row of prismarine brick slabs on top. We are then going to do the same maneuver with the prismarine brick stairs, but this time they aren't upside down, so we have them curved around sideways like this. Then behind this, we will place a regular row of prismarine bricks, and then we are pretty good to place an entire row of prismarine bricks on top of our red concrete. Next, we are going to place white stained glass on top of these three front-facing prismarine bricks, and then we will place two additional glass along the side here, followed by a prismarine brick, and then a glass brick. Destroy this block place an iron door in its place with two ladders extending down. We then want to place another brick, followed by two stone stairs. Now, coming over to the opposite side momentarily, we also want to place two glass here, then a prismarine brick, glass, brick, glass. We will then place a brick, two stone stairs, and then we can just place bricks for the rest just like this. Next we are going to shape the top of the ship. You could even say that we're going to make it ship shape. So first of all we will place prismarine brick stairs along the back of the ship. 
So the idea is that they want to form this shape. You'll see that on the ends here, the stairs kind of like curve inwards. We then want to place prismarine bricks extending all the way forwards, stopping short of the, I guess you could call it the windscreen. Then we want to place prismarine brick stairs along the top of the windscreen connecting together just left to right like this. And finally, we will place prismarine brick slabs on top of the actual glass itself. Now it's a good idea for us to just fill the entire top of the ship in using prismarine bricks. It'll make this next part a bit easier. So moving on to the next part, we are going to place a dark prismarine stair in this position. So it's quite easy. If you line up with the stone stair here on either side of the ship, follow it up to the top, slap that right in the middle, boom, perfect. So behind this, we are going to place a couple of dark prismarine, extend up and then back. We then want to place a dark prismarine stair here and here with a dark prismarine here just like this. We are then going to place a light grey concrete followed by an upside down mangrove stair and that is the fin on the top of the ship. Speaking of fins there are two additional ones. So first of all we will just drop down to this side and place dark prismarine stairs here and here. Notice that they line up with the stone stairs we place them on the side of the red concrete. Underneath these we place upside down dark prismarine stairs, add another row of stairs on the side, an upside down stair facing this way, followed by dark prismarine, light grey concrete and then mangrove stair. We want to do this on the opposite side also, so two dark prismarine stairs, upside down underneath, place them on the side, upside down stair this way, prismarine behind, followed by a light grey concrete and then a mangrove stair, just like this. As we are on the back of the build, we are now going to place a sea lantern here, surrounded by stone brick wall. Then we want to place a stone block on each side of the sea lantern, but placed against these stairs of course, with the appropriate placed stone stair in each one of the four corners to form a circle. This then leads us all the way to the front of the ship where we must make the turret. So to begin we will place a dark prismarine slab here, here, here and here. We then want to remove this block, place a light blue stained glass here, here, here and here with one above in the centre. Then a polished black stone wall here with a stone brick wall in front. And that is the turret. Next we are going to make the rest of the landing gear but I realised at this point actually that we, we should also just fill the base of the ship in. We probably should have done this ages ago. We have to fill the base of the ship in with prismarine bricks. So we also have to make it so that we can still climb up into the ship via the stairs here. So we just want to have something which should look like this. We'll leave it at that for now as the inside of the ship is a separate conversation. But for the rest of the landing gear, we want to leave a gap of three. So one, two, three, and then place a hopper here with a light grey concrete underneath and we want the same from the opposite end of these stairs. So a hopper here and a light grey concrete here. And this is the ship in its landed form. This is the ship complete. However, there is another option. This is the ship in its grounded form. But what if we wanted the ship to actually like be in flight, flying around? Well, we would first of all remove all of this. We would then seal up the base of the ship, but then we would also want to decorate the inside of the ship. So we are going to actually break into the ship. We will replace that door later. 
And step one is actually just making the floor. So we are going to fill the floor in with cyan terracotta. Then we want to add another room at the back here. So we'll place an iron door here with prismarine bricks either side and a lever so that we can actually access it. At the front of the build, we will remove these prismarines, place cyan concrete. We then want to place an item frame here, a lever here, a stone button here, and we want to place spruce stairs in such a way that we have two seats. We then want to place a stone stair here with a spruce fence gate. So these are kind of like the co-pilot positions and this is the actual pilot position. This is how one would steer the ship. And uh, I, I would also like, and it unfortunately we can't do this because it just simply isn't enough room. I would love it if we could actually like climb up into the turret, but th there's actually no feasible way of doing it without like shifting everything like one row backwards and then it just, it just doesn't make sense. If like we could somehow like shift this back and then we could add a ladder here and we could stick our head up, but unfortunately this is how it's got to be. Moving into the back of the ship, this is where we have the engine room. We will remove these marines, stick a furnace in the middle, hopper on top, cyan terracotta either side, stone brick wall here, lever here, button here, couple of chests here, and there you go. Nice and simple. So the reason why I differentiated the interior between the grounded version of the ship and the in-flight version of the ship is because with the ground version of the ship, you can't actually really like have all of this in here so if you add the landing gear you actually kind of have to like you, you kind of have to like tear up a lot of the inside of the ship and kind of like alter things a little bit to actually like get up inside so like th this is like it's, ju it's just not possible to get in here and have an interior via the landing gear but it is possible to just have those stairs and be able to access it up the side with the ladder if that makes sense so uh, unfortunately with the way that we do have it with the landing gear and everything this is this is how things would end up looking which i mean it, it, it's not too bad at least we still get the inside of the ship this way it's just not ideal because we have of course like completely like made a mess of things but either way that is this tutorial 100 fully completed however this video is not over we must now add the planet express ship into our city i think we both know exactly where this is going we have to place it with the actual planet express not only because it's kind of cool to keep these two builds together it's really fun to come across them as you're exploring the city but I don't want a futuristic spaceship just whizzing around my city. That That's crazy town. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make anything else by me, please check the description below for the mini city builds playlist. We have over 100 builds in there for you to enjoy. Alternatively, the sidebar, hopefully the next upcoming video, YouTube, or just check the channel. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.